Hey everybody, this is Chris here. I hope that you have had an amazing day, amazing Sunday, Sunday fun day and Pentecost Sunday. Um, listen, I'm going to get into some things that I think th that are very important. <laughs> um they're very important I, i'm just gonna say that but um if you're in here tell me you you're here say hello say something to me uh we're gonna get into uh the topic tonight but i need to make sure um that as many people see this um as possibly uh, as as that uh that possibly can couldn't get that out i need for as many people to see this as uh, we can get in here so if you would do me a favor I don't normally do this but if you would share this if you would have um, if you would tag some people to come on I'm going to share some things that I think are so important important um, to our society whether you're white or black period period so we're going to get um, into the conversation so again if you would share um, if you would share and uh, let me know um, let me know that you're you're in here okay all right so let me start by saying this let me start by saying this can you all hear me and see me are we good can you hear me and see me i don't know for some reason i can't see any of the comments oh okay i can see comments all right awesome so i'm going to go ahead and get into it so again um if you saw the title of this um if you saw the title um of the video um, I want to talk about the climate of our society. I want to talk about 10 things that we can do, whether black or white. Thank you, Danny. Uh, 10 things we can do, whether black or white, um, to, to help the situation, okay? Um, so again, this is very important. I'm going to start simple, and then I'm going to get into some other things um, that are really important. So if you would stick with me, I promise you it's going to be worth it, okay? Um, and information we need to know. So the first thing um, I want to say um, is I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and start with number one. Number one is do something. Do something. I told you I'm going to start simple, but it's also going to kind of lay a foundation for some other things that I need to say. Um, we are facing a giant called racism. We are facing a giant that is sin. And this is going to be, if we are going to come out on the other side, um, and some people feel like, oh, this will always be an issue. This is, we've had this for 400 years and all of these things. But I believe that there is something we can do. We can't just sit back and say, oh, this is how society is. Oh, this is how this person is, or these people are. We cannot just do anything or cannot just do nothing. Okay. So that's number one, do something we all have to take part um in doing something okay this problem that we're facing is way too big is way too big for one person it's way too big for one pastor or one church or one politician or it is too much it's too much for one person so that's number one the one of the 10 things that we can do to help our uh the racial climate of our society is do something okay i had to say that because number two is we cannot judge other people who fight differently from us okay here here is why i say that um we had the protest today we had them yesterday um and i almost felt bad because i didn't go and i had been trying to decide like am i gonna go to the protest am i just gonna stay home all of those things and i decided because just because i didn't feel good about it I stayed home and I, and I and really felt bad because I'm like, listen, I need to join the fight. I need to be doing something. But at the end of the day, there are different ways that we can do things. OK, so and here's how I look at it. So let's say I live in Irmo. Let's say we wanted to get downtown. Right. And, and, and my brother who's sitting here. So let's say he's going to go one way. I'm going to go one way. But what we have to agree on is the situation. So we can't talk about people who are going to protest um, because we want to stay home. We can't talk about people who do, you know, do it their way um, 
per their personality and what God has called them to do, we can't look at them and judge them because they're doing something different than us. At the end of the day, we have to have the same destination. Even if we go, go into the same, even if we go in different routes, we have to have the same destination. So we can't judge people <laughs> who fight differently from us in this fight, but everybody ought to be doing something. Okay, does that make sense? Y'all talk back to me, all 10 of y'all or 11 of y'all who are on here, okay? We cannot judge people who are going to fight differently from us. There ought to be people on social media. There ought to be people protesting. There ought to be people preaching um, sermons that will um, get people uh, motivated to do something or even encouraging them. So everybody has a, a different uh, everybody has a different fight. Everybody has a different way to fight. Okay. So that's the, that's number two. Number one, do something. Don't just be sitting home doing nothing, crying, talking about, Oh, this is a shame. And you're doing nothing. Okay. Number two, don't judge others who fight differently from you. Okay. So if somebody else is going to protest, that's not your thing. Do what you do. Okay, but all of us ought to be found doing something. Number number three, we have to come together. We have to be unified. <laughs> this is not a fight where we we where we can be fighting against one another. Uh, we just have to we we just have to stop doing it. I'm getting hot now. <laughs> I we, we we can't we cannot do it. We have to fight this thing together. If you look even on social media this week, and I've seen it prior to this week, but it really, it really, um, it, it was really on a different level this week. So as people have been posting rate racial, uh, comments, comments that are just shouldn't be posted. Everybody has been banding together to share it and tagging people so that these people will get fired. Why did that happen? It didn't happen because just one person did it. It didn't happen because just 10 people did it. It happened because, and this was me, anytime I saw one, I'm going to share it. Because at the end of the day, this is a problem, again, that all of us have to fight together. So, you know, if there are things that are um, that are happening, um, they're having the, what is it called, the blackout that's happening June, June 7th? We all need to be we doing this, but I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm going to get, get there in a minute. But this point number, what is this, three, is that we have to do this thing together. We cannot be divided. A house divided cannot stand, and we're going to stand. <laughs> so we've got to be unified, okay? Um, number four, and some people may not like this, there are a couple of these we may not like, but especially if we call ourselves Christians and the saints, then some of this stuff we're going to have to say. Okay. Number five, number four, um, we cannot treat all white people as if they are the same. Okay. We cannot treat all white people as if they are the same. We cannot treat all cops as if they are the same, okay? Some people have not wanted to hear things like this, but at the end of the day, especially, and I'm, and I'm speaking to Christians, those who say they name the name of Jesus, we cannot, we cannot do what we are saying is wrong. Does that make sense? You can't, you can't look at all white people like all, you know, all of them when you get offended and when they look at all black people as thugs, you can't do it. <laughs> we can't do it. We can't, we cannot do it. If we don't want it done to us, we can't do it. Period. Despite everything. Okay, because I do believe that there are people who are not black, who really do care, who really are trying to understand, who really, you know, want to, to, to be in the fight. And a lot of them, I, I've talked to some this week, they just don't know. And I've had to correct several of them. Like, oh, I understand, ma'am, you don't understand. <laughs> At the end of the day, there's no way you could understand. 
You can't because your your skin color is different and it's been that way your whole life. So number four, we can't treat all white people, nor can we treat all cops the same way. Especially if that's not how we want to be treated. Period. Okay. Number five, with that being said, and this one is my opinion. Okay. I needed to say that. All of these are my opinion. Okay. Especially this one. But number five, I think we ought to call people to the carpet. Period. Oh, you know, Jesus, you say you're a Christian. Well, why are you not speaking out? Especially, and I said this in a post the other day, especially prophetic and prophets. Because it is totally unbiblical to preach houses and prophesy cars and babies and all of those things and don't speak to justice. That's not Bible. Check out Amos that said, let justice, let justice fall like uh, water. You, you can't do it. I, I really believe that we have to start calling people to the carpet. And, and that goes for, that goes for preachers, that goes for churches. And in my mind, it goes for businesses. And I'm jumping ahead of myself, but since I'm here, let me go to number, I'll just call this number six. I believe, well, let me say this. There are certain people who underst who only understand money there are certain people money they say money talks there there are some things that are not going to be changed i believe until we mess with their money period period so number i don't know what number i'm on i think it's six we have to i believe we have to stop supporting businesses who care about our money but not us no, no, your mouth is closed. Okay, my wallet gonna be closed. Your mouth is closed. Okay, I'll go over to to you know the black owned or w some other business because they certain people they don't understand until that money dries up. Thank you, Danny. They they not they're not going to understand until we stop supporting foolishness. Until we stop supporting people whose mouths are closed at. We got to stop. We got to stop supporting people whose mouths are closed and these blatant racists. Period. Okay. So I'm on number six. Let's go to number seven. I think it is important that we, that we support black owned businesses. And let, I'm, I'm going to add this too. Cause I, I don't think, I don't think some people will like this. I think it cannot just be black owned businesses. And, and again, I'm talking to people who know Jesus. We have to support kingdom businesses. Because I said in the beginning, there's some white people who love God, who, who, who genuinely love black people, who wanna help, who wanna do something, but don't know what to do. So again, I think this has to be more than a race issue. I think, when it comes to kingdom believers, it has to be a kingdom issue. It has to be. We, I was in the car with my brother today and he said something to me and, and I had to think about it. He said, I wish that as blacks, we did not segregate. And I was like, hmm. Uh, but as we, as we talk through it, I'm like, well, you know, at that time, I think it was a little bit different because now we have technology, we have Facebook, we have Zoom, Martin Luther King and Malcolm X, they didn't have all of that. You know, in slavery, they didn't have all that. They had their songs, you know, to get messages to everybody and all of those things. They didn't have fax, fax machines, even though we don't really use those, but y'all get what I'm saying. There, there were things, there are things that we have now that they did not have. I think there were reasons why that, uh, that we needed to segregate at the time. But as I thought about it further, we can't just make this a race thing. And, and, and I say that, and I say that to say for the believer, it really has to be a kingdom thing. Now, let me say this. There are people in the kingdom who are quiet and even are quiet racist. So I'm talking about those in the kingdom who may, you know, they may be Indian. They may be, 
uh, Spanish or they may be white or, or whatever. I think we have to make this a kingdom issue because at the end of the day, the label that we ought to go with first is a child of God. And, and that sounds deep. I, I, I know, but at the end of the day, we really are. So again, I think we ought, we, we really ought to support black owned businesses and kingdom businesses. Okay. And that's how we stop supporting those who are quiet and those who are, are these, uh, silent racist or in, in many cases now they are not silent. They showing their true colors. Okay. So, uh, um, that's number seven. We, we have to support black owned businesses. Let me say this when it comes to black owned and kingdom businesses. Um, I don't know. As black people, we also cannot make it hard for people to support us because I'll personally say that that has been one of my issues with, I, I don't know if I, I'll just leave it there. As black business owners, we have to have integrity. We have to call people back. We have to email people. We have to make sure that we're giving excellence so that we can support. Okay. We can't, this is not a time for you to make it hard to support black businesses. <laughs> okay. So I'll just leave, I'll just leave that there. We've got to support black businesses, but black businesses also have to have integrity and do what they're supposed to do. Amen. All right. So, um, here is a very important one. Here is a very important one. Number eight. I think we're on, we have got to complete our census. Hello, it's on. Okay. We have got to complete the census. Listen, as I was thinking about this today and looking more into, uh, what the census does it, I had never thought about it. Honestly, I tell people all the time, if it's not music or, or the Bible or church, I really don't know much about it. But as I was looking more into the census, um, if you don't know, the census is done every 10 years, right? This is why it's important to do the census. Uh, when it comes to the census, um, how do I say that? The census is where it basically is a head count that they do every 10 years. This is important because in the different states, and we'll get to, um, I'm trying not to go too far in the different states. The population determines a whole lot of things. One of which is the funding that is sent to that state. Okay. So it's like, you know, my mom has two children, right? Um, let's say I have three kids and my sister doesn't have any. So she, I may get a hundred dollars, but my sister may get 20. Cause she don't, she doesn't have, she doesn't have the needs that I have. So it's important to complete the census because this is where we are get, getting funding for schools, getting funding for government programs. And, and it goes to, um, the representation that we have in the house. Okay. So this is why it's important to do your census. If you have not done that, if you have not done that, you can go to, let's put it on the screen, 2020census.gov, okay? You can do it online. It literally takes like two minutes, but we have to do that. We have to be counted. We have to be counted, okay? All right, so that's why it's important to do the census. So in, let me go to number nine. I think I'm on number nine, okay? Number nine, I'm gonna try not to... I'm going to just try to keep myself calm in saying this. Number nine, we have to vote, people. Let me make sure. Hello? We have to vote, okay? And I may be talking to people who already know this, but at this point, those of us who know it cannot keep silent. We cannot just keep sitting back and saying nothing. And, you know, post it. At this point, we got to go further than that. Okay. If you look, if you know the three branches of, um, well, let me say this before I even go there. I am not just talking about the presidential, uh, race, the, the vote for president. 
You know, what's even more important than that is your local voting for your local people, okay? This is why you have the three branches of government, right? You have the legislative, you have the executive, and you have the judicial, judicial, okay? A lot of times we focus on the executive, which is the president, and I think his cabinet. I don't know all of that, okay? But I do know that what I'm saying is the truth. The president is in the uh, executive, right? So we worry about we worry about that, and we're real big on that, and we like we got to get President Trump out. But even more, or just as important, is we have to that legislative uh, branch is the people who are local in your state, in your county, all of those things who make the laws. There are certain things. Trump, he don't, he don't really have nothing to do with it. He okays it, but he does not make the laws for your state. So this is why you need to know who your representatives are. This is why we have to, these, what, what was it? What were we talking about? Prosecutors and um, what, do you remember? So all, all of the, these people who make your local laws, these are the people we have to get out. If we're going to change something, and I'm not saying don't focus on Trump because I don't want to go too much into him, but we need leadership who will bring the people together. We need people, we need leadership that is not divisive. Okay. So I'm not saying that that is not important, but we have to vote local people. We can't just be in these churches shouting and voting for bishops and you ain't vote for your representative the people who make the laws so they make the laws the executive they um what's the word i want to use they um they carry out the laws so we need some people in our local states and i'm not just talking about thank you uh jay governors superintendents mayors da's all of those things these this is important because we also have people in our local uh local government who don't care anything, who, who, who are not hearing our voices, who do not care, uh, many of them, I won't say that all of them, because nothing is absolute, okay? Nothing is absolute. So we have to vote local. I believe the vote is June 9th. Can somebody, if you know the exact date, we have to get out and vote local, y'all. We have to vote local. We have to, we have to put some people in our local government and in the white house who care about the people and who will not divide the people. Okay. June 9th, 2020, we have to vote. We have to vote local. Okay. So this, the other thing with that is we ought to know. And again, as church people or i don't know if you church people if, if you're watching this but this it, it don't matter at this point whether you black white you know jesus you don't know jesus we have to vote local i cannot stress that enough <laughs> i cannot stress that enough okay so and 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 here's the thing i have been convicted over the last few days because again you know for a lot of us we ain't pay no attention to this stuff i'm like let me just vote democrat you know or whatever but we have got to know what's going on we have got to look at these representatives there's a way that you can go online and see what your representative has done and is planning to do so the this is what we're going to have to do moving forward y'all if we're not doing it we need to know what is going on in our local we can't just not vote local and then try to get trump out when trump is not making the laws it's our local government that's doing it yes please read up on on the slate so we know the candidate stance okay so here's the other thing that i would encourage i would encourage us to do is to vote issues at this point because and this is my opinion i'm looking at the democrats like where's y'all leadership like who who's gonna rise to the occasion and that's just me again i i think we have to look at this point we can't just say oh i'm a democrat let me just vote all democrat no we need to know the issues 
we need to know the issues. And I'm and I'm thinking about putting something together um with maybe, you know, some information to make it easier because again, I, I and I'm gonna just say this like like I feel it. I saw a post and I believe it was Nick Cannon who said or or had a poster that said, um, we won't vote until Black Lives Matter. And and I promise you, fire rose up in me fire literally rose up in me because if I can just be frank that is the stupidest thing that I've well I've heard some stupid stuff this week I mean I, I've seen but that is just stupid we have people who have died who have literally lost their lives and sacrificed so much for us to vote and we not gonna vote until black lives matter okay but how can black lives let me calm down. Let me calm down. We have to make our voices heard. We're saying people don't, we, we're saying people aren't hearing our voices. Well, a part of them hearing our voices is voting. So for us to say we won't vote until Black Lives Matter, it, it, I, I don't understand it. Especially when we're not looking at voting locally. Okay. So we, 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 we've got to do this. And, and I'll say this too. I think it is the agenda for some people to have us not vote. Okay. I don't think we understand what's on the line. We can't just be speaking in tongues. Somebody got to know what's going on. We got to have, we've also got to have kingdom people in, in government. We, we can no longer look like, oh, if, if you don't preach, if you don't prophesy, if you don't sing, if you don't play, that you're not important to the kingdom. That's, that's, it's, that's, that, that could not be further from the truth. We've got to have kingdom citizens in politics, in government, in, in the medical field. We've got to have uh, kingdom citizens as judges, and we, we have to do this. So we have to get involved. I stayed on that one. I stayed on that one real, real long. But we, y'all, as the church, I'm, I'm serious. I'm so serious that because this week there has, there has been something that rose up in me. Prior to this, I promise you, I really didn't, I didn't even know this much. I, I didn't pay, pay all that much attention to it. So I have to confess, and y'all can talk about me later. But at at this point, something has rose up in me and I'm going to make sure that, and, and that's the next one. We have, at, we have got to use our influence. I don't care if you need to go live. I don't care if you need to have a family meeting with all your cousins and we got to do something. We got to do something. We have to, we've got to use our influence. So we, we have to find ways to get these people who are saying, oh, um, my vote don't matter and all of these things. Yeah, it, if all of us don't vote, it may not matter. But if we can do it together with all of us, y'all, we, and again, it goes back to even the simple one of number, I don't know what number it was, but we have to do this together. We have to do this together, okay? So um, I don't know what number I'm on, but number 10, what I'm going to do is to ask you either to share this video or again, to make ways to share this with other people. We, we have to, we have to y'all. <laughs> I, I don't know about y'all. I am fed up. I have had one of the most emotional weeks this week. I mean, I just, I have been speechless. I have lit, I have cried literal tears at the at the makeup of our nation and our black men dying and it and and feeling helpless like what can we do? But we can't no, we we going to have to figure it out. We can't be sitting back just, you know, crying and not doing anything. So, again, let me go through this again. Number 1, do something. We can't, no longer can we just do nothing. Number two, don't judge others who fight like you. If you're going to protest, protest. If you're going to do something else, you do that. But we all have to have the same, uh, the, the same destination and the same goal. Okay. 
Um, number three, we have to come together. If you see something that's going out, black businesses, um, you know, black grocery stores, we were looking for these things today. And, and let me add this. I just add a number 11. If God has been impressing upon you to start a business, please do it. Please do it. <laughs> now, now is a good time. If, if that is what you feel like you've been called to do now, every, somebody got to work at, you know, at McDonald's and somebody got to work at, uh, uh, Time Warner Cable and all of those things. We get that. Everybody's not going to be a business owner. But at the end of the day, again, if that is what you feel you've been called to do and God is oppressing, impressing that upon you, please do it. Because again, one of these is we got to stop supporting people who, who don't mean us any good. So we need an, an alternative. We can't just say, oh, we can't have no tomatoes. Somebody ought to be growing some tomatoes if, if we're not going to Publix or wherever. Lord, I love Publix. I hope they, I hope they said something because I'm going to have to cut them. I'm going to have to mute them if they didn't, period. Because that, that's how serious we've got to take this. We've got to do our census so that we can be counted, so that we can have represent, uh, adequate representation in the House uh, of Representatives so that our schools get funding. We've got to do that. Number two, uh, I don't know what number I'm on, but we got to vote, okay? Vote local. That's happening again June june 9th okay june the 9th we have to vote local we can't just try to get trump out we've got to get these people in our states in our counties that don't mean us any good okay um use your influence i'm going to encourage you to go go live have a meeting have a meeting with your church we listen we have got to we've got to do some work Faith without works is dead. I appreciate your faith that God can do it and he's great. And yeah, but what you gonna do? What you gonna do, okay? So use your influence. And um, again, I'm adding another 11. If God has impressed upon you to start a business, please do it. Because again, for me, I'm, I'm muting people who ain't saying nothing. I'm muting people who have shown that they don't care nothing about me. This little black preacher girl no 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 and i need we're gonna need some alternatives to to the to the businesses that we have stopped supporting so again i'm going to tell you about the blackout again this is something we have to do together um i said earlier that people understand money when you hit their money they'll start understanding period draw them coins up and, and they they will understand. So we need to all participate in the blackout uh, that is happening. I uh, Give me that date again, Jay. I don't July 7th. July 7th. July 7th. So we need to prepare for that. Coming up to that, go ahead and get groceries or whatever you're going to do. Because July 7th, I'm going to call you out if I see you buying some Jordans on July 7th. I'm going to just tell you now. Okay. <laughs> so please y'all I'm, I'm joking but seriously we we have to participate and we have to come together because it's it's, it's just not going to work it's not going to work if we don't all participate and do it together that's all i got i i hope you hear me i know i'm not the most articulate i know that i don't know everything but what i have learned and and am learning um then i'm going to i'm going to keep sharing it i don't care if it's 16 people or it's a thousand people we we got to use our influence to whoever will listen whoever will listen so i appreciate you guys for listening to me tonight and um i'm praying for you i'm praying for our nation i'm praying for our churches our leaders um who are in these unprecedented times even in the midst of COVID 19. i mean i mean we had two two pandemics at one time um and it's a lot so i'm praying i'm praying for you um yeah I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Love you guys. And um, good night.